All right, guys. So, you see the tweet. I wanted to show you guys the tweet before I showed you the video. Just so we could frame this and see how it's being framed. And this is a very delicate situation because of everything that's going on in the country. And because we know the type of climate we're in. This is an incident that happened in Texas. Racist in Texas harasses an innocent black man who stays calm and keeps his cool. And this guy who retweeted it, he put on the caption, so much respect for the man keeping his cool while having to listen to this bigot. Okay, so we have bigot and we have racist. <laughs> okay, we have black man. A lot of buzzwords here. So let's see if this was a racist incident bigoted incident or had something to do with the guy being black. That guy looked like that 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 back kick looked mean. It was easy. He whipped that thing out easy. You can tell this guy either he does MMA or martial arts or something. And I don't know what led up to this. I don't know what started the confrontation. All I know is that I did hear the white guy mention the black guy's race. Now we don't of course we don't know what happened before because we know that oftentimes like black people call white people cracker they call black people the n-word they call them cracker cracker white we, we throw that around but we can't be racist according to social society social norms we can't be racist so it's not racist when we invoke a white person's race with it in the in the in the scope of an argument or heated debate or anything like that but if they do it it's definitely racist so this guy I think he knew knows that I think he's a little inebriated I think he doesn't care but I think this guy is smart enough to know that if you're white and you bring up a black person's race automatically anything that happens after that is was 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 done because you hate all black people not just to this guy but you hate all black people and you're racist. And now this guy's probably going to get doxxed. He's probably going to lose his job. He's probably going to um, be harassed on Twitter. People are going to find out his, his Facebook page. His friends are going to start acting funny around him. But we all also have to understand that. Like, look at how many videos I do every day of black people murdering white people. What, you saw the one about the 14-year-old girl in North Dakota the other day I did? And it's hundreds that I don't do. Because, you know, I go to the gun memorial every day. So, <laughs> hundreds I don't do. I want y'all guys to know that. Everybody who thinks I'm out here making black people look bad. I don't, I, like, literally, a drop in the bucket. I only do a small portion. I would compare what I do of the crime that you guys say is making y'all look bad. I would compare it to going to a buffet. How many of you guys like buffets? I love those Asian buffets. I'm sorry, man. I, I support Asian businesses. <laughs> they may be rude, but quality is good. Service not great, but quality good, man. Um... love those buffets it would be 
when I make a video, it's like me getting a plate or fixing my tray at a buffet. So whatever I get on my plate and bring back to the table, that's the video I show you. And what and everything that happened that day in the stand in the sun belt from sea to shine and sea is all the food in the buffet. That's why I block y'all when y'all say that I'm trying to make y'all look bad. Because, like, I'm I'm really trying to, like, focus on hard-working, everyday people. Regular folk, students, parents, business owners. You know? People going places. Regular Joes. I'm not thugs. So right here, I noticed something that I didn't notice the first time. The brother was waiting for him. If this brother wasn't, didn't, truly didn't want a conversation, and I get it, the male testosterone, people are filming, you don't want to look like a coward, you know this may go viral because he's white and you're black, you know he's bigger than you, you know he's got guns, you know he's taller than you, but you're still thinking, you know, I'm a nigga, because one thing you got to understand Black folk don't see white people as threats. That's the funniest thing about this whole racism thing. Scottie Pippen, the great um, Chicago Bull, he recently um, got into a spat with Charles Barkley. And his biggest diss against Charles Barkley was that Charles Barkley thinks he's tough. All he ever did was fight some white dudes. He never fought a black dude. So he can't be tough. And I've told you guys this a lot of times um, throughout the years. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention or if you think I'm just making this stuff up or something. But black people don't, black women, let's just talk about women. Black women don't feel like a white man can take them. They feel like they can punk a white man. Maybe not physically beat a white man down, but punk him. And bully him, yeah. There's very few black women that don't think that they could bully or just, you know, run rough shot over a white guy. And there's very few, very even fewer black men who just like the thought. I, I always, I, I always said this: the thought of. Um, Anybody that I ever knew, anybody I ever ran with, hung with, or whatever. And I'm not talking about thugs or gangsters. I want you guys to know I'm not talking about gangsters and thugs. Some of them were, some of them jailbirds. I'm just talking about regular black dudes. Okay? Bus drivers, plumbers, custodians. Administrative assistants, <laughs> clerks, mechanics. I I don't know one black dude that I've ever been around hung with that wouldn't be like completely shamed and embarrassed. And I mean like shamed upon shame if he lost a fight to a white guy. If he let a white guy talk trash to him and he didn't at least strike the white guy, at least punch him. I don't know anybody. 
That's the craziest part about this whole we being hunted. And LeBron, who said that, he's from Akron, the hood. He knows that. That was so disingenuous about what LeBron said. LeBron knows that. Brothers don't think that. Brothers don't view it's. It's like pick when you if you if a brother see you fighting a white dude, and you try to act like you tough. You can't. You can't like. You can't act like you tough. Like for instance, just say he this guy would have beat up this guy. He can't go back around the hood and act like he did something. He don't get no points, no stripes, nothing for that. It's only a, it's a lose. It's only a lose situation. All he can do is lose in this situation. Now the white guy, judging by what the white guy said, he agrees with me. Right now. That, that, that's what I'm tired of. You guys think you guys think you black people. You guys think you guys are folks so fucking strong. Yeah. yeah. You guys think you're so fucking strong and everything. All right, come on, make a move, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Time to go, sir. What? Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, Another thing. This portly young lady right here who intervened, if the roles were reversed, <laughs> she wouldn't have been able to stop it. If a brother had made it, it would have took more than her. The whole staff, it would have took the whole staff. <laughs> this guy, he seems drunk and he still just let a one rotund woman make him leave. Hit one if you agree with me that if the roles was reversed, a 6'4 brother, tipsy, had been agitated to the point where he wanted to fight. Maybe rightfully so. We don't know what happened in this situation before and we're not going to find out the truth either. But a brother's been agitated to the point where he's ready to fight. There's no way that just this woman stops this. With words. She didn't even have to put a hand on him. There's no way. And if you have a problem with me breaking this down, um, please go to Twitter. Um, I'm, I put a link to this in the description box so you can go watch it. It's only a minute. <laughs> you can watch it yourself on your own time. Let's go! Call the cops. Yeah, call the cops right now. That, that, that's what I'm tired of. You guys think you guys are like black people. You guys think you guys are folks so fucking strong. Yeah. yeah. You guys think you're so fucking strong and everything. All right, come on, make a move, dude. Come on. Sir, I'm not come on. Time to go. Come on. Time to go, sir. What? Excuse what? me. What? Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Pokemon Snap just came out. I was trying to get Pokemon Snap. <laughs> Pokemon Snap. Yeah, that's what we're here for too. Cool brother, man. Seemed like a cool brother. Doesn't seem like, you know, he's on no, obviously, no, no rah-rah stuff. Looked like he didn't come out to get arrested. He didn't come out to throw his life away. And that's an important thing I want you brothers to understand, man. You don't have to throw your life away. It's not a requirement. When, when you get an altercation or somebody else's energy or somebody else crosses you crosses path with you in a negative way and I get it I got the, all that testosterone in me too I mean I get it and that pride and that just you know that bad Emma Effa gene where you just like you 
like it's just sit with you for a long time like getting punked out like this which I would have felt like I got punked out it would have just tore me up it would it would tore me apart for a long time it would have I would I would have been thinking about it I would, I probably couldn't even I I probably couldn't even have, like caught a contact off of some weed without just being distraught about this I'd have been distraught that I let this guy do this to me I'd have wanted to I would probably wanted to kill this guy if I seen him again. If I had let it go like this. Now, I don't know if I would have... I don't know what I would have done. Because I hate doing that whole thing. That was me, man. I was the D, man. I don't want to do that. But I just, I'm just going to deal with what happened. If I had let this, that him do that, I would have been... Uh, man, I would have... I'd have been like... It would it, have hurt my soul, man. It, take, it took me a while to get over that. A couple weeks weeks maybe months to get over that that I didn't you know do something but we gotta we got as brothers we gotta uh, stop feeling like we always gotta be the bad be a gangster or be a bad dude or even even just you know be a tough guy or something like that or we it's, it's okay to let somebody you know get a get a whatever they want to call it a W or this brother came out to get video game man for his kids and go back in the house man he accomplished that man and there was a roadblock unforeseen in his way there was something that he probably I'm sure he didn't foresee this happening something happened between him and a guy I don't know whether he, it was his fault. I still don't know. It could have been his brother's fault. But, I mean, he seemed like a you know nice guy. And the other guy was obviously drunk. So I'm going to give this brother the benefit of the doubt that he, he didn't start it. But he, this brother made it home, man, without a charge. He didn't go to jail. He, he's not dead. That guy just looked like a serious, like, MMA skill. Just the way he flipped that kick out there and, like, put it, like, inches from the guy's face, paused, and whipped it back and didn't, um, wall drunk, that type of control. That guy looked like he might have been hell with some MMA moves, like choke holds and like that so I don't think you know I mean <laughs> you don't want to fight with them MMA guys man trust me on that Jack not that I have but I fought regular fights and nah you don't want to fight somebody that's trained in MMA they can do all that stuff you don't want to do that um so salute to this brother for making it home, man. Let's read some of the comments, man. Okay, this guy says, This racist POS was last seen at Walmart, Texas, antagonizing an innocent black man shopping for video games. So, okay, the doxing has begun. This guy's definitely going to lose his job and lose everything he has. I applaud this king. If anyone knows his handle, let me know. I'd love to follow him. Sure that ain't Bobby Schmurt. This one says, I want to understand white rage. <laughs> So now this is symptomatic of white rage. Just think about everything that's happened in the last year and a half. And all they got to hang on to is this in the Capitol rights. <laughs> From the group that colonized the entire world. You got to understand. White people colonized from Fiji to Japan to, to Zulus, 
to the Aztecs, the Incas, the Mayas, the Egyptians. They colonized everything. The Wu Dynasty. They colonized the entire world. Black folk been running amok for the last year and a half. And they got this situation and the <laughs> capital riots where not one rider had a gun. Not one had a gun. And they talking about some white rage. <laughs> I hope they don't think this what this is what white rage look like. They gonna be in for a hell of a surprise when it really happens. He says, and this lovely lady does not get paid enough for this. Deserves a raise. Bravo. <laughs> I bet she like buffet restaurants too, man. She probably got a brother at home. And a couple biracial kids. <laughs> and she living her best life, man. She got her Netflix. And her damn. Nissan Maxima. And she good. I ain't, I ain't hating on this one. This one says. How insecure and angry can one be. To taunt another because of his race. Now, was it because of his race or did he mention the guy's race saying that the guy but would think that he was tough because of his race? Is that what, so was the whole incident because of race? I don't know. We don't know. So we got to, we don't know that. The gentleman, the other gentleman displayed the strength, bravery, and character the aggressor was lacking. Black, Barack Hillary Joe Kamala Democrat. That's this woman's handle. Barack Hillary Joe Kamala Democrat. <laughs> Black folks have always had to restrain us. <laughs> Folks have always had to restrain ourselves in the presence of white violence. I'm sorry, man. I can't. Let me let me start over. Try to get through this. Black. <laughs> Black folks have always had to restrain ourselves in the presence of white violence. When do we get to respond the way they deserve? Well, sister, subscribe to my channel, man. You'll see a bunch of responses, man. This is the this is the foremost authority on the responses to what you're looking for, man. Just subscribe to my channel, sister. Response after response after response. This sister says, a white guy responding with a gunshot is always considered as defending himself. Black people with no weapon fighting back is considered dangerous and expected to stand down. Don't talk back. Don't fight back. These are real people too who live in the same places we all live in. These are our neighbors. These are our co-workers. It's crazy, man. This one says, because he, he responded to, to that woman says, because black folks have more class. This one says, I see many wanting to know identities. The police and prosecutor that are duty bound to prosecute this individual for the crimes he committed. 
inside this Walmart need to know too. Now remember, he didn't touch the guy. He didn't touch the guy. He fake punched twice and it kicked and you know, just a warning kick. And then was able to be talked down by one female <laughs> Walmart associate and left. And they're talking about this guy being prosecuted. <laughs> wow. Walmart needs to get out in front of this and demand prosecution for the safety of all customers. They just don't know how, when they, they don't know that when they open a can of worms, Pandora's box. Because if you start, if you make Walmart get out in front of an incident like this, 99 out of 100 times, I wouldn't say 99 because there's a lot of Walmarts. And 75 out of 100 times, you will get... If they go, if they crack down on this stuff and they start prosecuting people for this type of stuff, you gonna get a lot of brothers locked up. <laughs> Cause if they start prosecuting this this way across the board, man, this, this is nothing, man. But Walmart don't need to get involved in this. This is nothing, man. This person pulled up the legal code, Texas Penal Code. <laughs> Harassment is treated as a Class B misdemeanor publishable with up to $2,000 fine and 180 days in county jail. <laughs> These people be so green. A judge would throw this out. This would get no paper. Then all y'all would be talking about it was just because he was a white guy. <laughs> no, it's because so much crime happens in Texas that they don't have time for this. They would throw this out. This would be no paper. Dismissed. They don't have time for this in Texas, man. So much crime. Since, um, you know, since the blue wave crashed over Texas, they don't have time for the stuff like this, man. But you see, they pulling up the penal code. This person says, there must be a gene we can isolate as the cause of this aberrant behavior in white males between ages 18 and 38 or post-insurrection age 68. So they talk about genes, y'all. It's okay to talk about genes, y'all. In groups, 18 to 38. <laughs> Beware of white men, 18 to 38, y'all. <laughs> How many y'all were y'all out on the town, got your head on a swivel, looking for white men, ages 18 to 38? Hit one if you, if, 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 if. If when you're, you're somewhere at a restaurant, at a cookout, amusement park, and you see a bunch of white men, 18 to 8, 38, roll up, how many of y'all say, up? Oh, it's time to go? <laughs> there must be a gene we can isolate as the cause of this aberrant behavior in white males between ages 18 and 38, or post-insurrection age 68. Because not all white people behave that way, nor do most even support those types of deplorably delinquent overt acts of racism. So this is a deplorably delinquent overt act of racism. This person says, Walmart, how is it your stores are the site of so much hostility and animosity? What's up with that? This targeted black man played it cool, but the adrenaline pumping in him 
had to leave a psychological mark. Poor guy. Can't even shop in peace without Whitey on the moon. <laughs> Trying to be Bruce Lee in order to hide his own inferiority complex. <laughs> this guy says, time for the internet to make him famous and to destroy his life. Well, yeah, that, that's definitely going to happen. This sister... I I was hoping he would grab his leg when he kicked so I could watch him kiss the floor. This guy says, we sure do find an awful lot of examples of racism in our racism-free America. I keep hearing about from certain individuals. incident at Walmart, I decided to let's just go to the gun memorial. <laughs> let's just go to the gun memorial. And let's scroll through and see if we can find let's pick a white guy. Random white guy. Alright. It must have been, it, you must have been called to, to Op Nation. You sitting right there all by yourself Evan Bauer. North Little Rock PD make arrest in connection to man killed Wednesday in Wednesday morning homicide story where North Little Rock police are investigating a homicide there after a shooting in the area of Share and West 22nd streets our Alexis Wainwright has been following this story since it began Alexis <laughs> Well, Donna, what we know right now is that one man is dead after a shooting happened here on West 22nd Street. Now, North Little Rock police tell me that they responded to a call about a shooting just after 1030 this morning. Police say when they arrived at the 900 block of West 22nd Street, they found a man with a gunshot wound. Now, he was later pronounced dead here at the scene. In the meantime, his identity has not been released yet, but police spent hours out here combing through evidence and trying to figure out what exactly led up to this shooting. So that's this guy, Mr. Bowers, who got whacked out right here in this rural area. Now, this is just random stories from the gun memorial. Let's see who did it. Right now, our detectives are um, currently processing the scene, interviewing witnesses. We are asking anyone with information about this incident to please call the North Little Rock Police Department and you can remain anonymous. Sister police chief, no surprise there. You'd be surprised if he wasn't a sister. As you just heard police asking for anyone with information to come forward. They are trying to solve this case. In the meantime, no suspect information has been released just yet, but police are still working. The investigation is ongoing. Donna Wilson. All right. So there's been an update in this case. North Little Rock, Arkansas. Police in North Little Rock responded to a shooting. Scene where a person was killed midday Wednesday. Authorities said the incident happened near the intersection of 22nd Street and Share Street. 
Officials said Evan Bowers, 31, of North Little Rock, was killed in the shooting around 10.39 a.m. Detectives with the NLRPD announced that made, they made an arrest in connection to the shooting. Robert Watts, 34, was arrested and charged with first-degree murder. That's our buddy, Mr. Watts. Now, I don't think that they, 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 this didn't have to be race related. But my thing is that if it was reversed, it would be race, race related. And this happens every day. I, I don't even report. I wouldn't have done this story. This wouldn't have come across my desk. I wouldn't have done this story. I mean, it would have came across my desk, but I wouldn't have made a video on this had, had it not been for the incident at Walmart. I mean, and you can just go on and on. You could just pick any other, any other person off of the gun memorial, any one of the other recent victims of gun violence in this country. Courtney Henry, murder charges. This woman, Courtney Henry, 29, murder charges filed in the shooting of a woman near a Lakeville daycare. In Lakeville, police are investigating after a woman was found dead in a daycare parking lot this morning. Charmaine Nero joins us live from the scene with more information on that. Hi, Charmaine. Hi, Rena. Now, earlier today, this entire area was blocked off by police as they continued to investigate the location where that woman's body was found. We talked to neighbors in this area who heard the sounds of gunfire overnight and say this is very unusual for this area. Crime scene tape and police cars line the outside of a townhouse in this quiet, tight-knit Lakeville community. It's heartbreaking. As police investigate the scene where a woman was found dead in the parking lot just outside the New Horizon Academy overnight. I believe this doesn't happen often here. Just from the look of the neighborhood, the well-manicured yawn, lawns, no litter. The houses look to be very nice. I believe them when they say this. Usually I don't believe people when they say this never happens. Yeah, I believe them when they say this. So I got an email from the daycare um, saying that we couldn't drop off our kids at the daycare due to an investigation from the police department. And then I contacted the police department because as a mom, I'm like frantic about what's going on. Could you imagine if another group of moms did that? They'd be on the phone all day. So I'm not gonna sit here and act like this woman did something that sisters don't do. Sister would be on the phone all day and all night. It was, she had to call the cops to check up to see about something happening like this. This woman has the privilege, not the white privilege, but the privilege, well, yeah, if she was, yeah, I guess it is white privilege. But yeah, she has the white privilege of the one time they were shooting in the neighborhood, I'm calling the cops, what's going on? That was a sister she'd be, they'd be like, ah, oh, it's Cheryl again. Who wanna pick up line three? It's Cheryl again. And we got Khadija on line four. Again. Like. So I'm not gonna sit here and act like, oh, this white woman's better than black mothers and yada yada yada. Nothing like that. So I got an email from the daycare um, saying that we couldn't drop off our kids at the daycare due to an investigation from the police department. And then I contacted the police department because as a mom, I'm like frantic about what's going on. Lakeville police say they were called out to this area near 203rd Street in Ice Fall Trail shortly before 3 a.m. That's where they found the unidentified woman lying in the parking lot dead. There is a lot of high traffic with some of the neighbors in and out, but you don't expect this. Mary Smith, who has lived in this townhouse community for 10 years, watches as police walk in and out of one of her neighbors' home to investigate. I still can't remember it, but I want to say maybe she has kids that live there with her because most parents here have kids because it's a family townhouse, townhouse program. The New Horizon Academy issued a statement to Kara Levin saying, although police have indicated this situation is unrelated to the operation of the school, our Lakeville location will remain closed for the remainder of the day. While police say a man is in custody and say there is no credible threat to the community, neighbors here like Mary say they're still on edge. Then I feel really bad for that because 
People are like, oh, nothing happens down in Lakeville, but tragedy happens everywhere. My heart goes out to that family that's dealing with all of this. The victim's identity and cause of death have not yet been released. The daycare tells us they will reopen tomorrow. Back to you. All right, Charmaine, thank you. So, they said they did have a suspect in custody. So, let's go see. Prosecutors say Aunt Travius Weeks shot his former girlfriend who had recently ended their relationship multiple times and left her dead in the parking lot. Give me an idea on Aunt Travius Weeks. I need a description on Aunt Travius Weeks. Now, this wasn't racially motivated, I don't think. I mean, it's clear why he killed her because she ended the relationship. But if it had been the other way, it would have been considered to be racist. So, you guys got to understand, I just picked two random. I didn't pick all of what. I just picked two random people off the gun memorial the last few days in this great country. Now, I want you guys to also think about this. Have you guys heard of any marching or protesting in the country in the last few days? No. So it's safe to assume that all these people on this on this gun memorial all these sun people were killed by other sun people. Because if one of them had been killed by a white person, there would be marching and protesting, Benjamin Crump, CNN would be giving it full attention, MSNBC. And look, they outnumber the whites on this list, what, 10 to 1? So think about that. There you have it. I don't think that Walmart incident had anything to do with race. Because any of these other white people I had just glossed over, if I clicked on them, you would have probably found out that they were killed by a brother. Just like everybody else on this list. Almost everybody on this list was killed by a brother. We, and if you talk about that that's also racist along with the Walmart incident so I caution you people to stop making every little incident about race don't call for that guy to be prosecuted cause what happened cause you don't want a crime bill do you why you want that guy to be prosecuted over a a, 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 a warning kick and a pump fake jab, a couple pump fake hooks and jabs. You don't want to cry, Bill, do you? Look at all this. All these people were killed by um brothers. All of them. When I say all of them, I'm talking about like 90% of them. I know some of these people weren't, but 90% of them. Remember her? Laquita? Pull your mask over your nose? Get in the comment section. Like, subscribe, donate, peace.